felt strange to end my long journey in this way, speaking to a video camera. It makes me feel more alone than ever. When I was still human in the year 1620, such a thing could not have been imagined. Of course, being Nosferatu could not be imagined either by any human. It has all been a wonder, living in death. <sighs> Let me begin. I am Daedalus of the Kindred, Primogen of the Nosferatu clan. My haven is here below ground in San Francisco. This video recording must serve as my last will and testament. My time is short. There is no time left to write it out by hand. Tonight will be my last night on Earth. At least in this horrific form. After 500 years of nights, the end has come. My last night. The time of Gehenna is here. The Methuselah has awakened and he is coming for me. I know this. I can feel it. I have something he wants. And not just my flesh and not just my power. Time is short. I have much to say. These words are meant only for you, Abel. son to me. When you come for me in the morning, I'll be gone. If I had called you to me tonight, he would have found you as well and killed you to get to me. You are the one to be saved. Please remember everything I've taught you. We must never break the masquerade. The blood hunt for us would begin again, the dark time of my beginnings, the inquisitions when we were hunted down and tortured and burned alive. Tell all the kindred that the Methuselah has awakened from his long sleep and he is hungry. He comes for the oldest among us, the ones with power. I have decided it would be me that he devours. He will be drawn here to this haven because I have something he wants. I have the skull. He has awakened because of the power of the skull. It was discovered last year in a cave in what is now called Syria, where once again humans are hiding in caves because of the slaughter there, just as we were thousands of years ago in the beginning. How strange humans call us depraved, yet look what they are capable of. The skull is 70,000 years old. In that time, that savage time, there were no clans. Just the most ancient of our lineage the first of the kindred, my bloodline, the Nosferatu. We had already been feeding on humans since the dawn, since the time of Cain. And the early ones forcibly embraced many humans to increase our numbers. But we were always careful to burn our dead, to hide in the night underground so we would not be discovered. And when this skull was found, they also uncovered human bones. Humans that had been devoured. This skull was taken, brought to the city. It was to be put on display by the humans in their bone museum. So I took it back. But the ancient one, the Methuselah who sleeps beneath the city, he could feel the power of this relic the oldest link back to Cain. And he is coming for it, and he is coming for me. And maybe that will be enough for him. So that he can sleep again.
But that's not the only reason why I make this recording. We must find a prince to save the kindred. I am thinking tonight of the prince I loved. Julian Luna lost to us years ago, the last time the ancient one awoke. He was so beautiful, selfless, righteous. He died so that the kindred could survive. And since he's been gone, there has been endless war between the clans, and the search goes on for a prince who can bring peace, a prince who is both human and kindred. Though Cain slew Abel, maybe now Abel can find forgiveness for the children of Cain. And of all the humans I have ever known, I am thinking most of you, Abel, when you were a boy, you were dying of cancer and I just couldn't let that happen. Once you tasted the power of my blood, you thrived. You came to Julian. You asked to be one of us. And our prince saw in you the future. When you find this recording, and I know you will, I want you to do something for me, for all the clans, for all the kindred. Take your rightful place. Primogen of the Ventru clan and prince of the city. Play this recording for the other clans. They will honor my last command. Alchemy could do many things, but it couldn't bring me peace. I was seeking something like grace, when I would be free of the bloodlust and the dark urges of the beast. Tonight, I will finally reach Golconda, transcendence of the living and the dead. not mourn my passing. I do only what is right for me and for you and for all the kindred. And remember, my arms will always be around you. Abel, my boy, you and I will now trade places. You will step into the endless struggle of life and death, and I will step into the light. I have dreamed of Golconda for 500 years of near solitude. Tonight, I step out of the shadows and the dark hidden places. Dawn comes. Look for me in the light. <laughs>